here uh, we are negotiating uh, on behalf of uh, LDCs uh, very many issues. Uh, say, uh, 2015 agreement. Uh, we don't find uh, 2015 agreement uh, to uh, make a roadmap. Uh, how best we can have a roadmap for 2015 agreement uh, that is uh, still elusive. Uh, so far, the negotiation uh, is going uh, is not moving uh, towards uh, 2015 agreement roadmap uh, crafting. Because if we don't have a clear cut roadmap right now, then uh, we are uh, going to fitfall uh, on this uh, say oil uh, towards uh, 2015 agreement in Paris. Uh, in uh, and uh, we also uh, need to uh, look um, uh, free 2020 ambition, uh, raising ambition in free 2020. And we have seen uh, some progress, especially in European Union. Mm. Uh, they have uh, fulfilled uh, their uh, commitment. Uh, places uh, before uh, seven years, so seven years earlier than 2020. But we need uh, more, uh, say, raising the level of ambition in, in terms of uh, emission card from EU because uh, they have shown that they have already uh, cut back their um, emissions. And it is uh, not that difficult, uh, some other countries are saying. So they have shown that uh, it is possible, it is um, economically beneficial, and uh, it also creates jobs. It uh, doesn't uh, say uh, cut back jobs, but it really uh, creates jobs. So that way, uh, EU showed the um, say leadership, but we need uh, to address uh, the mitigation gap, huge mitigation gap. We need some more movements. Uh, on the part of uh, EU so that they can uh, raise their level of ambition and they can uh, show the others, say uh, Umbrella Group or uh, USA, Canada, Australia, Japan and others that uh, it is possible, it is profitable, it is not a losing concern. Are you talking about the EU upping its ambition from 20 to 30 percent renewables or uh, from, sorry, 20 to 30 percent um, emissions cuts? So overall emission cut, uh, emission cut uh, we uh, would like to see that um, because they can do, uh, because they have already done it, uh, say, 20, by uh, 2013. So next seven years, uh, would they uh, sit idle? They shouldn't sit idle. They should rather um, try to raise their ambition and uh, keep the momentum and, uh, say, continuously cutting back their emissions so that others can also uh, feel that uh, they should uh, also need to cut back their emissions. Uh, because without uh, emission cut, uh, the OA, uh, the um, adverse impacts are um, impacting uh, very many uh, least developed countries. Um, it is uh, beyond uh, our imagination. Even, uh, say, uh, in whole year 2013, we have seen a lot of, uh, say, climatic events. Uh, like uh, hurricanes um, uh, in um, Caribbean, uh, in the Pacific, in our uh, South Asian region. Even Hurricane Mohassan hit Bangladesh in September. Uh, say we escaped, luckily, that uh, it, it turned into a landfall. It was not, um, say, a huge, huge uh, uh, hurricane uh, like the previous ones. But uh, now we have seen uh, hurricane in a uh, super uh, typhoon in uh, the Philippines. So uh, this way, globally, uh, we have seen a lot of uh, adverse impacts uh, people are feeling. Uh, on the ground, uh, there are a lot of uh, people um, facing uh, day in and day out uh, adverse impacts of climate change, say sea level rise, saline intrusion uh, in the uh, coast, um, say Bangladesh coast, or say um, uh, in the coast of, uh, say, um, uh, Pacific or uh, in um, uh, African coast, uh, it is the reality. Yeah. They test climate change in the form of salt, saline. We are, you, 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 you just said you'd like to see um, an up in targets in Europe. Um, we're in Poland, <laughs> come on. They, the Polish won't let this happen. I mean, is there any chance of movement on this at these talks? 
No, in, in fact, uh, frankly speaking, uh, out of 28 EU member states, um, say 26 are favor, in favor of, uh, say, moving forward, raising their level of ambition. But uh, unfortunately, mm, uh, Poland is not mm, uh, making that mm, uh, space, that momentum. Uh, so uh, we need uh, uh, Poland mm, to have uh, on board and uh, Poland also make that announcement that they are going to move forward, uh, move uh, robustly uh, to cut back their emissions. So yes, we do know that uh, there are also uh, their uh, limitations. Mm, their uh, coal-based mm, energy mm, mix uh, is uh, also mm, uh, making them uh, constrained uh, to make that uh, place, that announcement, uh, that commitment. But uh, in a global village, uh, we have to move forward uh, and try to, mm, uh, say, express solidarity. And this is a land of solidarity. Les Oil also mm, uh, tried it. Uh, and that was the revolution uh, you have uh, in the land of Poland uh, in 1989. So we want uh, in Poland, mm, in uh, say Warsaw, uh, that is unfolding. That solidarity, global solidarity is uh, in the making. And that should be uh, translated into Paris uh, in a new agreement, ambitious agreement, robust agreement to uh, fix climate change because it is beyond the capacity of least developed countries. It is beyond the capacities of developing countries. Even it is beyond the capacities of developed countries. So uh, the adverse impacts of climate change, uh, changing climate, we all have to agree on in a robust framework, robust uh, in terms of uh, massive scaling up finance, hmm, scaling up of support, uh, to the for the developing countries, especially say least developed countries and um, small island um, states and African countries, um, so that uh, these countries can face climate um, uh, menace far better, oil. and that require say mass progress in terms of national adaptation plan formulation, support for national adaptation plans in the least developed countries, in other developing countries. Even national adaptation plans are required for developed countries because we now need to better mm, make adaptation. Because the way we have already emitted, mitigation cannot alone solve the, this crisis. We are, because we have emitted so much that we have crossed the threshold. So we need adaptation also urgently, side-by-side -side mitigation. So it is not a one mm, uh, fixed solution. Uh, it is not a linear mm, one. Uh, say, uh, in this equation, uh, we have mitigation and adaptation. We have to solve it simultaneously. So uh, it is uh, not that uh, the more we mitigate, the less we adapt. Mm. Or the less we mitigate, the more we adapt. Because adaptation has also limit. But the way we have mitigated so far, we need mm, more, uh, say, adaptation and more mitigation right now, right today, right 2013. Otherwise, this planet mm, can't mm, bear this burn. Um, Japan has just announced that it's reducing its emissions targets. So are you disappointed considering yeah, everything you've just said? We are not only disappointed. We are not only disappointed by the announcement of Japan. We are really saddened because hmm, Japan is a country where Kyoto Protocol was agreed upon, signed, initial. And at that point of time, Japan gave the leadership. But now they are hmm, backtracking. It is unfortunate. And we ask Japan to show the leadership because without that, Japan hmm, will face a yeah, lot, lot of adverse impacts. Even Japan had already faced a lot of adverse impacts of climate change. So if they don't tighten up their belt, they will lose in the long run. They will suffer in the long run. Their people will suffer in the long run. So it is not hmm, the case of, say, least developed countries, the case of Africa, the case of, say, small island developing states is also uh, true for 
all developed countries, all, uh, say, industrialized countries. Uh, our consumption behavior have to change. Otherwise, we can face uh, this uh, Herculean task, um, this, uh, say, impending, um, not only impending, it is already uh, onset. So, uh, these onset events we have to, um, say, address, we have to face collectively. And um, international mechanism for loss and damage is very important from that perspective also. And without, import, uh, say, international mechanism for loss and damage uh, in Warsaw, uh, it will be a meaningless um, uh, conference of um, parties. It will be a meaningless COP. Uh, so, the least developed countries are upon that all parties that in an international mechanism for loss and damage uh, is a strike uh, here in Warsaw because that will help give uh, the assurance for a robust um, agreement in 2015. And the losses and damages, not only economic, non-economic losses, hmm. social losses, livelihood losses, and lives hmm. already, uh, say, we have lost, is enormous. Who are going to pay that? Who are going to make the premium you know, for the poorest of the poor uh, farmers, marginal um, farmers, uh, poor men, poor fishermen, uh, who will ensure their livelihood, lives? along the coast, along the rivers, because they are suffering day in and day out. They are facing livelihood problem day in and day out. And if you have, a, say, a number three signal, weather signal, in, uh, say, Bangladesh, uh, what does it mean? It means that you are asking the fishermen to come back from the sea to the coast. So if, uh, say, a group of fishermen uh, on sale for a, say, fishing trip, uh, they cannot hmm, afford to come back on that day because if they return back to the coast, they are going to lose all their investment for 15 days or 18 days or 21 days. And then their whole investment washed out and who are going to pay that hmm. you say that the um without um, a mechanism for loss and damage at this talks they will be meaningless so if you don't get a mechanism for loss and damage um will the ldcs walk away from these talks or can we just give up on 2015 no we just warn that uh, it will help uh, it will, uh, say, erode the um, level of confidence, uh, level of trust, because in this uh, convention, we need to build the level of trust, level of um, confidence, so that we can agree upon a meaningful, robust, effective, balanced uh, uh, agreement in 2015. For that, from now on, we have to work very hard. Hmm. We have to work say, day in and day out. We have to work for, say, 24 hours a day. So that way we have to, um, uh, say, raise the level of uh, confidence, level of trust. But if uh, we can, uh, say, um, unlock that by only, say, having movement, uh, especially in this conference of parties, in this, uh, the, say, agreement on international framework of loss and damage, say international mechanism for loss and damage, because this is a soft area. Then you have to crack the hard nerves. So if uh, we can't, uh, say, crack the um, soft nerves now, then how can we uh, crack the um, hard nerves um, in 2015? Yeah. Uh, so we need to um, do that. Uh, this is feasible. This is workable. And then we can raise the level of ambition in terms of mitigation, in terms of adaptation, in terms of finance. Huh? And if we don't, uh, say, mm, scale it up mm, step by step, huh? on uh, one uh, certain moment, we can't do that. Yeah. So um, I think uh, 
willy washy uh, what so will not do we have to hmm, uh, we have to uh, say uh, make prudent judgment we have to uh, say uh, make robust decisions uh, pragmatic decision forward looking decisions and we have to do that collectively uh, all countries have to participate all countries have to make uh, concessions sacrifices for reaching a global goal reaching a global deal and that deal should be legally binding uh, obligatory for every country uh, even the least developed countries hmm, are not going to be shy in raising our ambition because we also do need to do lot of things in terms of adaptation in terms of mitigation uh, that is why many are developing countries have already including my own country bangladesh uh, we have uh, had um, the uh, climate change strategy and action plan where we place that uh, we are pursuing a low carbon growth pathway because that is ensuring our sustainable development so that is ensuring our green growth green development clean development so we want that um, uh, sustainable development pathways is uh, say paved away from here in Warsaw.